In this media, you are going to learn about maintenance and repair expenditure. Aim of PMS is to minimize the overall maintenance expenditure. For this, preventive and corrective maintenance will have to be balanced. Increase of preventive maintenance. It leads to rise in the cost of labor, material and administration. But the breakdowns and losses arising out of interruption in operation will reduce. Decrease of preventive maintenance. It leads to substantial rise in the losses arising out of interruption in operation due to breakdowns. The minimum maintenance expenditure will be achieved by balancing the preventive and corrective maintenance as shown in the figure. Excessive use of planned preventive maintenance will result in an increase of the overall maintenance expenditure. For the safety of some equipment, the attention of skilled specialists may be required and such higher expenses will have to be accepted for protecting against avoidable breakdowns. Direct cost towards maintenance expenditure Following are the expenditure incurred as a direct result of the maintenance activities. Wages for maintaining the relevant personnel Cost of materials procured such as pairs, packing material, paint, stores, etc. Expenses towards the services rendered by skilled specialists Equipment cost including personal protective clothing tools and premises used. Administrative expenses involved on account of planning and control activities arising out of the PMS, ordering or receiving or maintaining spare parts, etc. Indirect cost towards maintenance expenditure Loss of income or expenses caused by interruptions or broken down machinery. These could be very high, say for a container vessel which has very fast turnaround times. Cost towards repair of the breakdown. Damages caused to other involved parties such as port authorities, other vessels, etc. Loss of goodwill and image of the shipping company. Thus we have learned about maintenance and repair expenditure.